This is a quick video to show you how to configure a goal in uh, Google Analytics for your 404 page and then use it to configure a custom alert. So the first thing you need to do is to know what your 404 page is called. There are two ways of doing this. One of them is to go to the site, type in a load of gobbledygook and get the 404 page and check that have a look at the actual URL of the page and make a note of that. Uh, if the URL of the page makes no reference to the fact that it's a 404 page, then I'm afraid you're going to go and have to set up some custom tracking to record a virtual page view or indeed to send an event uh, in order to see the existence of the 404 page in Google Analytics. But that's not really the subject of this video. So for now, I'm going to assume that you've seen the page and you, have, you know what it's called. The best thing to do is to confirm by looking at the site content pages report to confirm that it is being tracked as you would expect in Google Analytics. So in my case I saw that it was called 404.html and lo and behold there it is 404.html. So the first thing that we need to do is to make sure we have a goal set up for this. In fact we what we do is we click up there to go over to the uh, management settings for Google Analytics we're in the Profiles tab. This is just a standard profile. Here's the list of things that we can manage from here. We want, we're interested at the moment in looking at goals. Uh, you can see that I've already set one up, tucked away down here in uh, Goal Set 4, because I, I always use these as, you know, I keep these out the way uh, of the main prominent goals. Uh, it's just my habit is to sort of organise them a bit like that. So we give it a name, 404 page. It's going to be a URL destination rather than an event because we know that it's recorded as a 404 page. And we know it's called 404.html. And in fact, Google's been terribly helpful saying there it is. You can see it's popped up. They've got that set there for exact match. Um, not a good idea because as you saw when I was doing that, um, there's a lot of different variations for this on this particular site. So I would go for either a head match, or it being me, I rather prefer the precise control that regular expressions give. In which case, to be proper about this, I ought to put a backslash, forward slash, I never know which way around to call those, in front of that full stop to say it is really to be a full stop. It's not case sensitive, there's no goal value, there's no funnel. Hit save, and we're done. So we now have a goal for the 404 page, which is a very handy thing to have anyway. In this instance, because I've done a dummy run on this video, you've got I've got two of them. Now then, next thing to do is to set up the custom alert, which is the real purpose of this video. So we click here to move over to the assets tab, and then down at the bottom there is custom alerts. And as you can see, as I say, there's been a dummy run of that. So I'll delete that one. Okay, let's start again. So we create a new alert. We're going to call it 404 page views. You can choose to apply it to all your profiles, whatever you want. In this case, I'm just going to leave it with a one. Now, the key settings here, the default is for day rather than week or month. And that's absolutely correct because we are very, very interested in getting to this, you know, uh, day by day. There's an option here to have Google Analytics send you an email when this alert triggers, which sounds like a really good idea. And perhaps in some situations it would be. Right now, the way these, this is working, um, there's quite a considerable delay uh, before the uh, intelligence reports are processed and the emails sent out, such that because I'm in the UK, in Europe, I don't actually receive those emails till late on the working day, on either the day after the alert trickled or I have a horrible feeling it's the day after that. As you can tell, I'm not a great user. I don't rely on the email triggers uh, alerts to tell me that there's a problem. I tend to have the goal configured and have a quick look at it every morning just to see if there's something funny going on with the conversion rate because the real power of this system lies in the analysis that the automatic alert provides. Uh, so I leave that set on day. I don't bother with email but you might want to. You can even set up your mobile phone to get a text alert but again I suspect it's going to be too late certainly in my part of the world. You could, if you want, segment this by different forms of traffic. I can imagine that you might, if you're getting a lot of these, be interested in just looking at referred traffic. You might, in a different situation, be very interested in trying to segment it down and have a goal similar such as this based on internal traffic. I don't know. I'm just going to go with the big overview alarm. So I'll leave that on all traffic. I'm going to change this 
so that it's uh, Google Google research companies always say stick in start typing it's much easier goal 16 and goal 17 in this profile are actually the uh, conversion rate the the goal that we just set up um, for the sake of consistency we'll go with 17 the one that's in this video so there we are goal 17 conversion rate select that condition is less than nope we're going to say increases there we are, increases by more than compared to now first I'll cover that the same day in the previous week the other option there which is not such a good idea would be previous day same day in previous the problem with previous day is that if you get a sustained increase in the 404 rates you'll get the alert triggered on the first day for the second day it's still crazy high but it's not an increase and therefore using this approach you wouldn't get the alert so I always go with that default as it now is to compare it with the same day in the previous week that's a very very good default to accept you'll probably want to experiment with the value in for the increase um, I tend to go for quite significant increases um, like doubling there um, but you might want to start out with something lower like a 25% increase and see when it triggers and then sort of fine-tune it to get something that works for you in fact once you've got a very good feel for how this goes on your site you might actually change to one of the absolute values so it is greater than whatever your run rate is um, on one of the sites where I work it would be quite easy to set that threshold at one percent if it's more than one percent something's up um, but as I say you can fine-tune it in this case I'm just going to show you the general principle of how you set this up which we've now done so you click Save you now have that alert set up and in due course, Google Analytics will start sending you alerts or, or, or generating alerts in your reports. In fact, it'll probably start doing this very, very quickly because we're comparing to the previous week. And I suspect from recent experience with this, it will be sending you alerts for the first week saying it was more than it was last week, which of course it was because it was zero last week, if you see what I mean. Anyway, I think I've covered the main point there on how to set one, up, one of these up. The real power of this is in the reporting the detail that it provides in the reports when it gives you the major contributors and tells you why your 404 pages are, are coming up and even in the case going up and even in the case of referring sites provides you with a nice handy link to head over there and sort things out